where did 2021 go <laughs> welcome back to plan with me you guys it's berlin happy 2022 i cannot believe that we're already in the year 2022 so i want to do a planner flip kind of what my planner looks like going into 2022 you guys know i don't go crazy changing things up and redoing deco or anything like that but there have been some changes done in my planner here just getting it ready for 2022 and i'm going to take you guys through that right now so this is my a6 vanderspeck undyed and i absolutely love this planner so much i think it's 25 millimeter rings and it does have a large back pocket um has so much character and charm i just love it i do not baby my planner it gets scratched when I'm putting it in and out of my backpack or my purse and it just gets markings all over it and patina and it just, I love it. So when you open this up, you kind of got a little bit of a mess, but hey, that's what my planner usually looks like. So over here, I just have a plethora of bits and pieces. I have some receipts in here. I have sticky notes in here. I have this little card by Hey Planner Girl, which is so great. I reference this all the time when I'm designing. Um, sticky note here for library books because my daughter and I go to the library a lot and we get lots of books. This planner card up here says Cozy Sweaters and Hot Cocoa. This is an old freebie of mine on my website, which is www.planwithb.com. I have lots of freebies over there and this is one of the old ones. So you guys can still get that. Um, I do want to mention to you guys that I am going to be working in 2022 on my blog more. Not just blog posts, but redoing some of my old freebies. I want to reformat them because you guys do know that my freebies are in an old format, PNG style, and my actual shop items are PDF style. So I want to like redo them, reformat my freebies. And along the way, some are going to get retired. They're not going to be there anymore. And you guys are going to see some new ones pop up. So I'm excited to work on some future freebies, but right now they're all still up. So if you guys want to go grab some of the ones that are up now that may no longer be up for much longer, you can go ahead and do that. I also just have a photograph in here. I have some sticky date dots here. And then going over here, I have an Ollie clip. I love Ollie clips. Who doesn't? This little note to self card. I've held on to this for so many years. I love this little card. It's by Gloth and Paper. Uh, I have another sticky note. This is from my shop on Etsy, a printable sticky note. It's the Rustic Florals. And this library books um, is also from my shop on Etsy. I have a ton of printable sticky notes in my shop. And most of my sticky notes can also be found in insert form in my shop as well. So you guys if you guys are interested you can check that out uh behind here let me take this off i have this really pretty tree that was a freebie from lindsay scribbles and i just thought that was really pretty i have it layered over the life as monica freebie which is like a floral freebie here it's really pretty let me, let me open this really quick and this clear like page lifter I have over top this and all of my clear dividers are from dividers are us and all of the white dividers are ones that I DIY'd and I have an old video on how you guys can do the same so I will leave that linked below so here is this I have it on vellum this is by Lindsay Scribbles and then this is the life as Monica freebie which is so pretty I love that and I put this on like a heavier paper and then it's just all pinned together with my ollie clip here and it goes right into my inbox section. Oops, this was under this as well. This is, I'm sure most of you guys can guess this. This is the couch from Friends. I had, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I was at my local Target and in the one spot, I found a Friends planner for only three bucks. And it was so cute and I specifically bought it to tear it apart. I know that sounds awful. It was like a really cheapy like planner that I wasn't going to actually use, but I wanted some of the images from it. And I just thought this couch with the fountain is so cute and I loved it. So I cut it out and just, just put it in here just for some deco. Then I have another sticky note. This is from uh, my shop as well in that same rustic floral bundle. Little note from my daughter that says, I love you, mama. And then in my inbox section here, this is the Neutral Planner and Vic Plans collab. I love this bundle. It was all different florals. And I have this on vellum. And then this is just some inbox. 
papers and these inbox inserts are from my shop. So there's just different styles that come in the bundle and I just have these in here to just jot things down when they come to mind. You guys know my like running inbox is texting myself. I do that all the time. That's like one of my main go-to things. I just inbox myself via texting myself because typically I think of things when I'm like running around like a nut or when I'm laying in bed at night and I don't have like something to write next to me and no light. So I just text it to myself. Then I have my Someday Maybe list, which is from Perfectionism Prints. Love this. That's what it looks like. This is from her GTD bundle. And then one of those clear dividers here from Dividers R Us going over into my next section here, which is my currently section. So this is just whatever is currently going on. Another sticky note from my shop, another sticky note from my shop. This is so pretty. I have a few images in here that I have on paper that are from the same shop. This is from Posh Pattery. I hope I am saying that right. I do not know if I'm saying it right. I think it's French. But anyways, she has some beautiful designs. She has a lot of dashboards in her Etsy shop, so go check her out. So that is beautiful. I love that. I just have that here in the beginning. And then I have a bunch of these papers, which let me show you a blank one. So I have a ton in here. Jeez. So I love these. These are from Paper Test Designs. They are so simple and yet so effective. Like they can be used for so many different things. I love how it just has this grid across the entire page. At the top, it has some different little options you can check off for what you are writing, if it's a project, if it's a list, and a place to write the date. And they've just been perfect for me to make random notes and lists and projects and all sorts of things. This is when we were working on our ornament for the year. I mean, I just have a ton of these in here and I just have them filled up with random notes. And then I also, I need to take this out, but this was um, my cards to send list for Christmas cards and school photos. This cards to send insert is from my shop and I just had like everybody's names listed and when I sent them and checked them off as I did. And, and I do a double check for however you want to use it, but I was using one check column for Christmas cards and one for school photos. And then after that, it goes into my agenda. You'll see lots of random little notes and drawings and doodles that my daughter did that I keep in my planner. Some more sticky notes from my shop. This is another one that's from Posh Papetry. I think it's so pretty. And then it's going into my agenda section. I have my task reminders. This is something that I've had in my planner for such a long time. It just comes in handy when you're trying to figure out what to get done, especially on like a yearly and seasonal level. Not so much like daily, you obviously know what you do daily and weekly and such, but things that happen more so like quarterly, yearly, seasonally, like it's just nice to have that in here. I have a perpetual calendar that I made myself. Um, the 2022 holidays and more. This is a freebie on my blog, so if you guys are interested. And then it goes into my yearly overviews. These are the yearly foldouts that are dated and they are by Peanuts Planner Co. And I absolutely love these. I get them every single year. And the reason why is because I will get rid of my monthlies that were from the prior year and throw them away. But I like to use these sheets to keep a record of important dates. And I will hold on to these sheets so I can like reference back. So I like to just keep those because it's easy to just keep one sheet of paper. I'm not going to keep like tons of inserts. And then I just have the ones for 2022. And she changed the style a little bit. I really like this. And I just have those in here ready to go. And I still have to fill out a few things on them. Then it goes into my monthly overviews. I still need to take these out, but this is what the end of 2021 looked like. And these inserts are from my shop. However, in my shop, I only have the undated version. I dated these specific just for my planner, but the undated version that look just like this are in there. So if you guys are interested in that. Some sticky notes here. This one is from my shop. And this one down here is Perfectionism Prints. And then I have 2022 in here. And again, I still have to fill it in. It is not really set up. I have a bunch of things I have to put on here. But again, this is in my shop, undated. So I just have the whole year. Then it goes into my project section. More notes and doodles from my daughter. I love this one because it looks like she's holding my sticky notes. <laughs> 
another one from my shop this is from cloth and paper this is very old as well this paper is so pretty i went searching on etsy one night for specifically like i was looking for like warm beautiful tones of color in like a floral watercolor like I was just typing in keywords and this happened to pop up and I thought it was stunning. It came from a shop that is called Kehlani Designs Co, I believe. I'll leave it linked down below. And I'm not 100% sure what else she sells in her shop because I specifically went for this paper and I bought it right away and then printed it and that was it. But I don't know if she has like a bunch more designs like this or what, but if you guys are looking for this floral paper, that is where it's from. It is stunning. I love it so much. Then it goes into my projects inserts and all of these projects inserts that I have in here are from Perfectionism Prints. I talk about them all the time. They're my favorite projects inserts ever because you just put a few tasks down and I do have a video all about how I project plan and go into detail about it if you're interested. But one of my tips that I've always shared with you guys is that I always number my projects out here and I highlight it because when I'm referencing a task from that project, I like to put the number in parentheses with it because it's easy for me to go back and say, okay, that came from project number five, let me check it off. Or if I have notes paper with additional notes for that project, I will make sure that it says project number five just so that it all coordinates. So I have a bunch of those in here. And then this section is my plan with B section. Aren't these so adorable? My daughter made these when she was like three. I love them. They're just so colorful and she's so artistic. And then when you go in here, I have another sticky from my shop, another vellum that I printed from the Neutral Planner and Vic Plans collab. I have some content creator stats trackers, which are from my shop, followed by other reference style lists and some helpful guides that I created for myself and some like triggers lists that I use when I'm designing. Then it goes into my shop section and these are from Amazon. I have them linked on my favorites page on my website. Uh, if you guys are interested, I have a whole page on there and it just has like a bunch of Amazon links of my favorite items that I do get from Amazon. And these sticky little business card holders are one of my favorites. So I have some of my date dots in here, which are also from Amazon. I get them on like a big roll. I love the color palette of this. Another one of the Neutral Planner Vic Plans collabs. <clears throat> and then I have my Etsy key and my Etsy inventory sheets. These are from my shop as well. So that just has all of my stuff from my shop. So I have a huge stack of those because I have a bunch of items in my Etsy shop. Notes paper, it's a Cornell style notes paper from Perfectionism Prints. And then uh, my content section, I have a bunch of these. This is insert 117, the categorized checklist from Peanuts Planner Co. I love these. And what I like to use these for are YouTube video ideas, Instagram post ideas, um, blog ideas, all sorts of things so that when I think of ideas, I can list it somewhere. Typically when I think of an idea, I just kind of do it and just get it done and out of the way but sometimes I have multiple ideas at once and so I like to have this ongoing list and then I just have sort of like the steps to get it done that I can check off and I have a bunch of those in here going to the back here then it goes into my finance section another sticky note from my shop this is another graphic from Posh Papetry I really hope I'm saying that right because that'll be embarrassing if I go through this entire video and I said it wrong the entire time <laughs> It's just very pretty. It's floral and the back side of it has just floral on it. And then here I have my financial key overview and I just use one side for plan with B and the other side for personal. And I just have like income sources and recurring bills and it just gives me a whole layout, costs, everything like that. And I color coded it, have a coding column. I really love this because I use it against like all of my financial inserts in here. So I love having this overview. And then along with that, I can't show you guys, but I have different trackers in here like subscription trackers and things like that. I do have a tracker for like fetch whenever I get a reward. I just like put it down on the insert. So I have that in here too. And I will leave my info below for fetch if you guys are interested. That is why I have a huge stack of receipts still back here that I have to scan. But fetch is a receipt scanning app and you earn points whenever you scan receipts and you build those points up and then can cash them out for free gift cards and it's really cool to be able to do that when you have to spend money on things like groceries and gas and 
whatever else you purchase and then you get to get some of that money back in gift card forms so it's really fun being able to do that and i will leave my code if you guys are interested because you can get 2000 points when you sign up then it goes into a notes page from perfections and prints and then the account registers this is also from my shop it goes with the finance key and these, I just put some fresh ones in here since we just went into 2022. So I was getting all ready for 2022. And I can actually show you guys these this time. Usually I can't really show you because they're filled in. But this is my collab from a year ago, over a year ago now, with Perfectionism Prints. And these are sold on her shop. And this is our mini finance bundle. And I love it because it shows... Um, on the back side of this one the first one it's a yearly overview and then it goes into quarterly and then it goes into your breakdown of each month and i still have to fill in my months it is undated so i just have to go ahead and fill all that in but i love using these to track income and expenses for plan with b and they're just wonderful i love them so much so if you guys are interested they are sold on perfectionismprints.com After that, we go into my reference section here. Another sticky note from my shop. I love Lucy. This is one of my pop socket decals. And then back here, I just have more notes. Then it goes into a subsection, which is going to be home. And here I have my house plants care guide. I made this for myself a long time ago. <laughs> and it just has all of my house plants that I have and some tips and tricks for them when I got them. And I used to use this against a calendar and like do my watering schedule, fertilizing schedule, depending on what plant number they got. It was a whole thing. And so, yeah, I don't do that anymore because I know my plants pretty well. But um, I do have an insert in my shop that is for tracking your plants and keeping track of, you know, a care guide for them. It does not look like this. It is very different, but it's the same kind of idea. If you guys are interested, you can check that out. Then I have my home measurements. I actually just changed these out from my old ones because my old home measurements and home projects duo, I am redoing on Etsy. So everybody who purchased it from before purchased the old version. It was a duo. It had home measurements and home projects. And that's what it was advertised as. And that's what everybody purchased it as. And now I'm going back and I'm actually making it a trio and I'm just updating it a little bit. It'll still have home measurements. It's going to have the home projects, but instead of multiple projects on a page, I made it a single home project. So you have more space on the page. So that is the change to the home projects on there. And then I added in a third insert to go with it, which is the home maintenance. So you can keep a track of like service dates to your home or when things got fixed and things like that. So I'm in the middle of updating that. I already have multiple of the sizes updated and you'll see that there's even a note within the description that says that it has been updated to a new version. So everybody from here on out would be purchasing the new version and the old version is no longer there, but the people who purchased the old version, that's what they purchased. So you might see in some other people's planners, it might look different, but that is why. So I just wanted to let you guys know. So I do have multiple home project lists in here. Behind that, I have my vehicle information, which is also from my shop and vehicle maintenance right here, which is also from my shop. Just keep a list of service dates. Then it goes into medical information for each of us here in my home. And I just have one for me, my husband and my daughter. And these are from my shop as well. And then the next section here is going to be my spoke to section. So I wanted to make an entire section for this because it's so much easier to find. These spoke to logs are from my shop as well. And I absolutely love these. These are one of my favorite inserts and one of your guys' favorite inserts as well. So many of you have told me that you love this so much and so many of you have purchased it. Thank you so much. You guys told me it was such a great idea because it's so hard sometimes when you just jot down random notes of when you speak to somebody about something important and then you have to go back and scramble through trying to find that information. So I wanted to have a place where I could find all of that very easily. So I have a spoke to log section and it's just filled with these and these are available in my shop. I carry eight 
main planner sizes in my shop, the most like popular planner sizes. However, I'm going to branch out and make these in more planner sizes because this has been such a popular insert. So I do plan on doing more planner sizes for this. So if you guys are interested and your planner size is not one of the eight that are in my shop currently, let me know down in the comments. After that, I have a work section with just some random notes for my job and some contact information. And then here I have a note section. Here's just a little note that my daughter wrote me. I have random notes paper. This is all from my shop. This is the rustic floral bundle. And it's just on like tiny faint grid. And then, oh, <laughs> I have these like friends notes pages that I ripped out of that little friends planner and just popped in here. And then it just goes into a bunch of notes in here that I have. And then a bunch of blank paper behind that, like Stology paper and such. And then back here, I just have another one of these from Kilani Designs Co. because it's so beautiful. Then I have a page lifter that I took um, some of those adhesive pockets here and just put them on there, cut through the hole so that it could still be a page lifter. And I just have these in here. I know I say this every time that I need to update this, but I need to update this. <laughs> this key card and highlight swatch card are old freebies on my blog as well. And I love having this so you can see the color of highlights. And here I just have to update this because I don't like use this system. A couple pictures of my daughter here. And um, they don't show her face, which is why I don't mind showing you guys. And then in the very back, I just have my favorite pen, which is my Muji pen and it's a 0.38 and then I have some more of my sticky dots I love this alley clip the iridescent some coupons here oh another coupon and I never went there so I'm, it's probably expired and then in the very back pocket I just have some pictures and some other random papers that I have to file that is it everyone that's my planner going into 2022 I hope that you enjoyed this flip be sure to check out the description box for all the links and other videos that you might be interested in and I hope that you guys have an amazing day and a happy 2022 bye everybody